Hey guys, it's Helen, Inspiring Fitness Personal Training. So today we're going to focus on our booty. We've all seen those lovely round bottoms that we all admire from afar. Wouldn't you like one too? So this workout is going to help you on your way towards that lovely round bottom. So initially I'm going to take you through the exercises and then we can work out together. So we're going to start, I'm going to be lying on my mat on my side. So, onto my side. So we're sitting sort of semi-propped up, knees are bent, so they're just in line in front of the rest of your body, feet are together. From here, I'm just going to open that top knee up towards the ceiling and close it back down. So whilst I'm opening and closing, I'm going to squeeze my butt cheeks together. So it's crucial in this exercise not to let this hip roll backwards. Some of you may be dropping back that way, just tranking that hips that one on top of the other. You're just going to open and close that top leg. Again, squeezing that butt cheek as we go. So we're going to do that on both sides. And then we're going to go into a hip extension or glute bridge. So this time we're going to lie on our back, hands on the floor, feet underneath our sitting bones. We're going to raise our hips up towards the ceiling, squeeze those butt cheeks together at the top, and we're going to lower ourselves down. So that's the basic level. Then we can also do a single leg version of that. So this time we're going to lift our hips off the floor, lift up one leg, and we're going to drop our hips down to the floor and back up. Okay, and then we do that on both legs if you're doing the single leg version. So your next one, we're going to be standing up. If you need to hold on to something with this one, it's fine. It's just a little bit tricky on the balance. So what we're going to do, we're going to step back into a reverse lunge. So from there, we're going to take this back leg across, back to where it came from, and forward. So we step back, across, back, and forward. So if you need to hold on, I use the wall here. My hands are just below shoulder level. So I'm going to go back into that lunge, into that position. I'm going to take my leg across back to where it was and then stand up. Okay, then your next one we're going to for a single leg Romanian deadlift. Sounds like a mouthful. So again if you need to hold on to something that's fine. So if you hold on to the wall here, we go to one leg, we're going to lift the other leg behind as we lower our chest towards the floor, just keep the head and chest in a straight line. Then we come back up, squeeze your butt, and lift and come back up. Just keep this supporting knee a little bit soft so we're not uh, overstretching that leg. Again, if you want to do that without holding on, your balance is good. So we take that leg behind, keep the chest and head lifted up, and then push back to come back up. Okay, then we're going to go for a reverse curtsy lunge. So we take that leg across and behind, knee close to the front heel. Over to the middle, change sides, push down towards the floor, back up, and cross them behind, and to the other side. Okay, so those are your exercises. So now we're going to put those together into a workout, we're going to work out together. So we start by lying on the floor, lying at either side, because we're going to be doing both. So we're going to do 15 of these on each side, so just support yourself on your forearm, Knees bent, keep those hips stacked one on top of the other, and we open and close that top knee. Your feet stay together and act like a hinge. And just remember to squeeze those butt cheeks together at the back. Get those muscles activating. <coughs> That's it. Don't miss, don't let this hip drop backwards. So I'm holding it here. My hand on my hip usually tells me when my hips have dropped because my shoulder will drop too. Just keep those stacked one on top of the other. That's it, good. You want to do as little faster you can. Make sure you're still squeezing those butt cheeks. Good, and three more to go. Squeeze. And then we hold the last one at the top. So just hold it open, squeeze those butt cheeks as hard as you can. Keep holding there. It'll be starting to burn. Three, two, one, and close back down. And spin over to the other side, just gently spin round. <clears throat> Again, we support ourselves on this side, knees bent, 
Feet together, hips stuck one on top of the other, squeeze those butt cheeks as we open and close that top knee. Good. You should be able to feel the muscles working in your bottom. two and hold the next one at the top squeeze it open keep squeezing those butt cheeks together should feel like it's almost going into cramp just keep squeezing hard keep it there for another three two one and close together again okay now we're going to go over onto our backs for that hip extension so line on your back hands on the floor by your sides Feet under your sitting bones. So we're going to raise those hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the butt cheeks at the top. And lower back down. We're going to do five that way. Good. If you want to carry on doing them like that, that's fine. I'll just show you some variations. So your next one, we're going to lift and hold at the top. And keep squeezing as you hold there. Keep squeezing those butt cheeks. Remember to breathe. Three, two, one, and lower back down. Then we're going to go for a single leg version. So we're going to lift hips up, leg up in front, drop those hips to the floor, lift up. You really need to push through the heel and your foot on the floor on this one. And you raise those hips as high as you can. And then two more this side. And the last one. And then we're going to switch and go to the other leg. So hips up again, leg in front, and you're going to lower. And back up, push down through your heel. Good. We've got two more of those. Okay, then lower down, and we're going to stand up onto our feet. So we're going for that reverse lunge. So we're going to step back into a lunge, that back leg across, back to where it was, and to the front. We're going to do the same leg, so back, across, back, and to the front, and show them the wall version. So leg back, take it across, to the middle, and back. And back, across, middle, and up. And one more this side, back, across, middle, and back up. Then we're going to change legs and do exactly the same. So again, we step back, that leg across. Back, and up, back, across, back, and up. Good. Keep your head looking straight forward. Good. And two more. Try not to put too, too much pressure on whatever you're holding on to. Just a light touch is enough just to balance you. Good. Then we go for that single leg Romanian deadlift. So, Onto one leg, if you're holding onto the wall, hands just below shoulder level, you take that leg behind, just lower your chest, keep it parallel to the floor, should be a nice straight back, and come back up. And again, go for 10 on each side of these. Good. If you don't need the wall, you can still do the same move. And two more. Should be starting to feel that in your supporting leg. Okay, then we're going to change to the other leg. The same again. Leg it behind. One side maybe a bit more unstable than the other. Like that. <laughs> it's okay to fall. So you have to lose your balance. There we go. Good. And we've got five more of those. Just remember to keep your tummy squeezed in tight. Because as well as getting a butt workout, you're going to be getting a core workout. And the final one. Okay, and now into that reverse curtsy lunge. So we take the leg across and behind, knee towards your heel, 
Going to hop over the top if you feeling energetic, down to the other side. Go five on each side of these. Good. That's number three already. Those legs should be starting to burn, you should be able to feel your bum a little bit on fire. And one more each side. Excellent. That's the whole workout. If you want to repeat that, you can do. Get so you can double the benefit. Or you can do it three or four times. Or if you really want, you know, to stop throughout the day and do a workout, a five-minute workout, and then carry on with your work. Anyway, I'm just doing the ones. So if you need to replay the video, that's fine. And then I shall join you again tomorrow for our next workout. Bye for now.